I grew up with friends and relatives in the military. And whenever we would visit them in the barracks, it almost felt like we were in a totally different world. Because in there, they had everything that they needed. They were equipped, and it seemed like they didn't need everything, anything from the outside world. And the other thing is that they were constantly prepared as if something was about to happen. And so it is Paul writing to Timothy in 2 Timothy 2, 3 to 4, where he tells him, endure hardships like a good soldier in Christ Jesus. Because a good soldier is not entangled with civilian matters, but rather they are always pleasing their commanding officer. And so I realized that there are so many things we can learn from a good soldier, because a good soldier really is a representation of what it means to, you know, practical Christian living. But I want to share two lessons from this verse. The first one being that we are now constantly in warfare. War never needs to be declared anymore. We are always in war. For the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God has come to give us life and life abundantly. The second lesson being that we can no longer be entangled with civilian matters. I know that there's a lot happening in the world, and so it is easy to be distracted. It is easy to be entangled. But Bible says, do not be entangled with civilian matters, but your work should always be to please your commanding officer, who is Jesus Christ. And so that means that we have to be good soldiers in the army of the Lord.